all parked in Arlington, Texas. The Texas Rangers have had the lead in the season. But injuries and a six-game losing streak as the Rangers look it up at the Oakland A's, the new American League West leaders. Ron Washington is looking for answers and victories before they head off for a big weekend in St. Louis. Welcome to the Donnie Sport Walk-Off, your show about your Texas Rangers. And there may be some life in the Rangers after this week. Here's the Donnie Sport quick stat. In the sweep against Toronto, the Ranger batting average was 214. In the three games against Oakland this week, the Ranger batting average ballooned to 287. The main cogs are coming back and contributing ASAP. Ian Kinsler had a big night. Elvis Andrews, Nelly Cruz, they're all coming in and contributing. And the Ranger pitching is holding serve as well. But the question is, can they keep it up against the Oakland A's team? And raise a hand if you happen to know one member of the Oakland A's lineup. One. That's all I ask for. One. Exactly. You don't know anybody. And while Brad Pitt is money balling this team, the Oakland A's are showing the baseball world that you don't need to spend a whole lot of money to get quality wins and a quality team. And that's what the Rangers are facing right now. So Rangers and A's are battling on a Thursday afternoon here in the ballpark in Arlington. And if the Rangers take one more win, three out of four in this series, after what they went through, consider it a victory. And while we're talking about the American League West, here's a little lay of the land of how the American League West is shaped out right now. You know about the A's, you know about the Rangers. Biggest disappointment, the Angels. All that money spent, all that talent, going down the drain right now. And someone's going to pay if they don't turn it around. More than likely, the manager, Mike Socha. It's the Seattle Mariners. You know about King Felix. He brings it every time, every start. But... They need a little bit more offensive consistency to get where they need to go. And the Houston Astros, well, they're their first year in the American League, their fresh shove for all the other sharks to be gobbled up. So there you have it, the American League West in a nutshell. Today, it's the Texas Rangers and the Oakland A's. The final game of this series before they head off for a rematch of the 2011 World Series against the St. Louis Cardinals. And coming up later in the Tony Sport walk-off, the comments after the game for the manager, Ron Washington. It's a beautiful day for baseball here in Arlington. Let's play Rangers, A's, and the Donnie Sport walk-off show right here on the Donnie Sport 17 Network. Well, this one was a teeth grinder game. Uh, we, we saw a shutout innings pitch. Oakland had the lead for a couple of times, but the Rangers battled back. And in the uh, seventh inning, the Rangers took over the lead, and Ian Kinsler, welcome back, buddy. You couldn't make it here quick enough. <laughs> I, I'll put it down as uh, my hero of the game, but let's not forget. Nelly Cruz had a defensive play, stealing, stealing an Oakland A's double, and the way this game ended, a runner getting thrown out. Rangers squeak by in this one, four to three. Uh, Shepherds gets the win, and Nathan gets his 22nd save. And, and oh, by the way, if you look at the bigger picture, Rangers one game down on Oakland, but in the in the division right now. Three out of four of the A's, we'll take that any day of the week. I wonder what the manager, Ron Washington, thinks about this game. His comments are coming up next here on the Donnie Sport Walk-Off on the Donnie Sport 17 Network. Tepish is going to pitch Sunday, and Darvish will pitch the first game in New York on Tuesday. So it's Holland, Perez, Tepish in St. Louis. Darvish opens the New York series on Tuesday. Okay, first question. Watson, you just talk about the final play and what everything had to go to go right on that. Well, <clears throat> I was hoping that Gentry had enough foot speed to catch it, but it sunk on it. But he kept it 
almost in front of him, not too far away, and he hit Elvis perfectly. If you didn't hit Elvis with the relay perfectly, I don't think we would have been able to pull that play off. But uh, because he hit Elvis perfectly, Elvis threw a strike to the plate. Just uh, blocked it off real well. And there it is. Uh, Marshall, there was a lot of moments in the game like this today. A sense that you win this game in the six, Ronnie Ross kept up the Well, no doubt about it. Came in with the bases loaded, nobody out. Got out of that was uh, awesome right there. I think uh, you have to give a lot of credit to Tanner Shepherds too. Uh, both he and Robbie. I mean, it was out there on films that we used pretty regularly uh, this, this series, and um, but they got the job done. And we certainly need him too. What else? Right here. All day long, this was a teeth grinder game. It, it, it's Runs were tough to come by, but in the end, it came down to pitching and defense. Many people will look at the uh, game ender, but how big was that Nelly Cruz play? Well, that, that play was huge. You know, I mean, he went up against the wall and, and brought it back. Normally, if he was playing normal depth, I think that ball would have hit the wall. So he actually saved uh, that inning for us and uh, actually saved the game, really. Um, you know, uh, there was a lot of... Uh, Changes that could have happened in that ball game, and I'm very happy that all the changes that did happen happened. So 